So hi again. Now we are going to see the process analyzer. So the process analyzer, what it does, it's almost the same as the output analyzer, except that is it's easier and it uh, permits to compare uh, many senior scenarios in uh, very easily. So we are going to see that uh, now. So let's take uh, the model as before. So, so, so this is uh, our model, so here we don't need to add the uh, statistic, we don't need to change uh, resources, we just have to run this problem. Uh, we run it to obtain a file, so originally we don't have files here, but we need uh, more files, a file that is named uh, the same uh, name, but uh, .p. So we are going to see that. So we run this model, click yes. So now we are finished. So we have all these files. We have one file that is named .p, it's this one, emergency run .p. So now we can close the arena. And uh, we open the process analyzer. So we go in uh, Rockwell, arena, and process analyzer. So we create a new document and uh, we double click here so we can name uh, the first scenario we can name it uh, original and uh, we choose the file that is named dot uh, emergency room dot p so it's this one so the program file is okay and we click ok so here we need to add uh, the controls we want to play uh, on. So we want to, for example, change the number of nurses, changing the number of doctors. So we go here and search control resources. We add doctor. So we add also a nurse. And uh, we can add the receptionist too. So we do that uh, many times. For example, we just duplicate this. Just duplicate this scenario. We can widen this. And uh, we change the number of doctors. For example, we make it two. Two doctors, two nurses and three receptionists. We can make another scenario, duplicate this one, and uh, we put here uh, four the nurses. We can add one and uh, remove uh, one receptionist. So we can add as many as uh, scenarios as we want. So I, I add uh, one last. I just duplicate this one too. So here I'll put uh, two doctors, five, uh, five nurses, and five receptionists. So we have these three scenarios, we can name them uh, so that you can uh, recognize them easily. So we can put here three, colon two, colon two. Here two, colon. Two colon three. Here four colon colon two colon three. And same again. Two colon five colon five. So we want to compare these uh, four, these five uh, scenarios these four scenarios plus the original one based on what? we have to compare this based on the decision time for example we can add this so we add the response so decision we have put it in the user specified so we add the decision we compare them based on decision we can also add also some uh, other responses uh, like may, uh, for example, doctor utilization, can add others. 
One last. Let's check the queues. So uh, let's check uh, the queue in the treatment uh, process. It will see if uh, it decreases or uh, it increases. So now after doing that, we have to select uh, to select all the lines and click go. So we click OK. Uh, we save that in our desktop. Click. Uh, and now uh, we wait uh, the program to execute. So for each uh, scenario we have uh, values that uh, are shown here. So we have for example the session here, which is 70 minutes. In the first case the session is, uh, is 180 for the second case, 240 for the third case and we see that it changes. For the doctor utilization it also changes for its 73 percent uh, for the first case 96 percent etc so we can uh, already see that uh, these uh, results are logic so we have here two doctors their utilization will be uh, 96 percent so if we increase the number of doctors by four we have uh, the doctor utilization is only 49 percent which is uh, logical so now after getting that we have to uh, decide uh, whether uh, to decide uh, the best solution of uh, this five. So for example we take the decision and uh, we find the best uh, case, the best uh, scenario that will permit us to, to reduce the decision. So in order to do that we, sele uh, we select the decision and we go in insert chart. And uh, for me, I always ch choose the last one, box and uh, whisker. So we click here. So I'm going to use the session. So I just click uh, next. And uh, I select identify the best scenario. So here we have two ch choices, uh, whether bigger is the better or smallest. So here the session is better when it is smaller so i'm going to choose the smaller is the better and uh, i choose the error, uh, error tolerance so i can choose zero for uh, accurate results and i click next so here i have uh, this chart here i can uh, change its size and uh, the red uh, we have the five cases here. The red ones are the best uh, uh, solution to reduce the session. So we compare these two, uh, these uh, five scenarios based on the session. So if we want to compare them based on the doctor utilization, we can use. Uh, we have to s uh, select this column, doctor utilization, and uh, we insert a chart like uh, the uh, the other one. So doctor utilization. Identify best scenario. Uh, here, the smallest is better to we can tick it. So we have this. So here we have a clear uh, best scenario, which is the third scenario. So we see here that uh, the doctor utilization is about 50 percent. So that was it. I hope you understood uh, when we use the process analyzer and uh, see you later.